one is about dependent origination or dependent co-arising. Ignorance, the first link. Ignorance does not mean I am stupid. I was glad to find that out. Ignorance means that we need to figure out what are we ignoring. To ignore something is the core word or root word in the word ignorance. What we are ignoring is the four noble truths of suffering, cause, cessation, and path. Secondly, we are ignoring dependent origination or dependent co-arising. And this is actually the line of human cognition, just as it is studied today in modern research for cognitive psychology. The line of human cognition shows us how things actually work. The third thing that we are ignoring are the three characteristics. They are anicca, impermanence of all things, dukkha, suffering, both painful in body or mind and anatta, ah, the way out, the impersonal perspective, impersonal nature of all things. When it is a beginner that we are teaching, it's too early to connect delusion and self here from this perspective or angle. It's true. Ignorance has a lack of understanding of one's true self. That's I, me, my, and mine. But the Buddha is encouraging us to practice a drill. And when we feel something coming upon us, on top of us, that is heavy, like fear, we should first run through our mind knowledge bank. This is not me. This is not mine. This is not myself. This is not who I am. This is just fear. Arising will exist, will pass away. Then we have a pure mind to examine what is really happening. There is a connection between ignorance and fear. This is agreed. But the counterpart is to find out what is really happening and make a conscious decision what to do in any situation. Now, this is happening extremely fast. And this does not take anything away from the natural fight or flight instinct of the human being. We should always pay attention to our intuition. If we feel there is a need to run, we need to run. Give it some thought. Always remember, nothing is happening to you. Everything is happening from you. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.